Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making an updated barn tour. Actually, I'm going to open my door because it's really quiet in here. It's too quiet. There, my door is open. Yeah. So today I'm going to give you an updated barn tour. And yeah, let's just get started. So a lot has changed. And yeah. So, and I'm really sorry for the lack of videos lately. I just don't really know what to do. Um, I'm going to try to get the second episode of Sundown out today. Maybe White Horse Stables. Like, one of them. Probably, most likely Sundown, because, um, Sundown I film on my phone. And my phone has more memory than my iPad, which I do. Which I film on of White Horse Stables. Yeah, it's really confusing. So, probably Sundown, not White Horse Stables. So, yeah. But let's just get started, so... Right here we have the parking lot. Um, so we have our truck and our Jeep. Just chilling here. And here's our sign. It was hanging up there. As you can see, because there's like, oh, I must have taken the glue off. But there was glue on there. It was hanging up here. But it fell down. I blame it on the bunny. Anyways, here we have a rack. Fake hay, and then these two little horsey statues are really cute, but also very, very heavy, believe it or not. So, yeah, especially this one, this one's super heavy, but yeah, they're cute. So, yeah, and then right here, we just have some fencing and such, and then our sign is just as white horse stables as usual, same old sign, but I love my sign, it's awesome. Anyways, moving on, then once you park your car, you would come through here. And then we have the trailer parking, where you can park where we keep our trailers, because we have two. We have this one. I don't think it has shavings in it, maybe it does. I have no idea. Yeah, this one has shavings in it. I don't think the other one does. This is the other one that has, like, no shavings in it whatsoever, so... That's cool. And right here we have a little bridle. And then if you come through here, we have this little walkway that leads down to the pasture gates. And then we have this person walking these two horses. We have our Tennessee Walker Stallion, Tigger. And then our Nab Strapper Stallion, Dot. And Tigger has an award for some reason. So yeah, and she's just putting them in the pasture. And we just have a little gate there. And then... We have this little pasture here, and there's just some tacking up on the fence, the saddle and bridle, and then, hold on, yeah, okay, that's better, okay, sorry, I had to put his body back, because I took him out, um, so right here we have our Andalusian mare Swirl, she's actually in not the greatest condition, that's like crayon, she was one of my first horses ever, so, I've had her for a long time, but she's still awesome. So that's Swirl. And we have our two fjords. We have Cookie Cake and Milky. Cute little Milky. Which is probably like one of my favorite foals. Other than Spotty, not including Spotty. Spotty's obviously like my favorite foal ever, but Milky's the cutest. No offense, Spotty. Anyways, right here we have our Nab Strapper Mare. She still needs a name, guys. Because I haven't, like, I will make an updates video. It'll probably just be called updates and I will say all their names. So, yeah. But, yeah. You can still name her if you want. Back here we have our Track and our Stallion Prancer. And right there we have our Arabian Stallion Fudge. And we have these two, like, little jack o' lantern things. As you can see, it's kind of decorated for fall. Because we have these little felt pieces. They kind of look like leaves. Because I was too lazy to actually cut out the shapes of leaves. So, yeah. Just do that. We have these little felt jack-o'-lanterns. I really like that one. We have our little beaver over here as usual. And then a sign says do not feed the horses. That actually probably shouldn't be there. Because it makes no sense whatsoever. And we have this barn. I still have the things to it like the stalls and stuff I just took them out and I'm using it as a shelter currently so I will just show you inside and let me turn on the light so you can see better so inside 
We have hay and water, and then just a bunch of shavings. And then we have our two Appaloosas, the Mare's Frost and the Full Snowflake. And back there we have our two Arabians, the Mare's Disco, and the Full is Gingerbread, and they are exclusive horses from last year's Advent calendar. If you're wondering. And right here we just have this little no smoking sign. Yeah. So now here. So now we will move up. So the lighting's fine up here. So this is our main barn. And this can actually go down the top here. It can go all the way down, but obviously this light here is in the way. But back here we have our Pertron Stallion Cricket. Our Dartmoor Pony Mare Chocolatey. Our Australian Stock Horse Mare Sandstorm. And then three empty stalls. And then, oh yeah, right here we have this guy. He's a custom that I did. He's a quarter horse. And he still needs a name as well. I will be doing a video on anyone who needs a name. Like, his name soon. His name. Like, man. Yeah, probably do that soon. So if you want to name them, then you have to do it now in this video because this is probably going to be your last chance to name one if you want to. But right here we have this person right here. And she's just grooming this Clydesdale custom that I did. He's really cool. He has one ear because that's how I bought him. Things on both sides. So yeah, and he's just in the cross ties here, which is a new addition to my barn. I just added them. They're just cool. And so yeah. And then uh, back here we have our tack room with all of our saddles and there's bridles there, and then just a bunch of random like saddle pads and stall toys and stuff, and then a picture. And then out front we have all of our blanket storage. As you can see, we have a ton. So yeah. And then, right here we have this little harness, and, and there's a little lead rope in there, and it's just like a bunch of random junk. Not really junk, it's not junk, but it's just a bunch of random stuff. And then we just have a little sponge. We have food and water for our dogs, and I think this is a halter. So yeah, and a random bridle. And then right here we have our little feed area, we just have some oats there. We have a picture of Phoenix who's not currently set up in my barn. And then we have this little whiteboard thing and then in here we just have all the feeds. Yeah, and then this selection of feeds. And right here we have this this little bucket and pitchfork to clean out the stalls. Some carrots, some feed bowls and water bowls. And then right there's Button, one of our dogs, or Buttons. Either one, I don't know. Um, so we just have this little dog bed with a whole bunch of toys in it. And then, right here we have a little wash area, and we have two cones for no apparent reason, just because I felt like putting them there. And then we just have our hose, our little tie-up area, our little pitchfork thing, some hay bales, some oats and show mix, and then just a little hay bag. And we just have this little shelf. We've got two hoof picks, a brush, and an apple, some shampoo, a sweat scraper, and a sponge, two towels, and then just a little water bucket down here so you can wash your horse if you don't want to use a hose and a sponge. So, yeah. So, that's that. And I think that's it for part one because I can only do, I think, like nine minutes. I don't know. I'll just do it till, wait, yeah. So, this is, I don't know. Okay, fine. I'll do Okay, let me try and finish. So, right up there we have cat food and water. And we just have this little paddock. We have pepper, our lipizzaner gilding, and then our lecithano gilding splash. And then they just have salt lake hay and water. And then we have this little gate here. We have some halters, a trotting pole, uh, just like more halters, a little breastplate, another halter and lead rope. And then um, a little lunge line. And then right here we have this little girth that goes to the saddle that I made. I made a different one, though. This one fits like my drafters. So, yeah. And then over here we have the little tack-up area. We have a little cross tie. 
cute. And then in the back of both of them, it just says clean up after your horse. And then we just have parts of a horse. And we just have this little pony camping saddle. Right here we have Mystery, who is being tacked up. And this is the new girth that I made for the saddle. As like a little breastplate attachment. And then I just made a breastplate. So yeah. It looks pretty nice on him. Put this back on. Sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. Because I believe there's Spongebob on the TV right now. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. And right here we just have this person picking out Buttercup's hoof, hooves. Um, and she's our Akal Tikmer. He's a little thick. So, yeah. And then we come to the big arena. And we just have this person riding Flake or what is on her mare. And they are just going over a jump bareback. There's a little bareback pad. And then a like, little halter with detached rings on it. And then this person giving them a lesson. We just have water, mounting block, and then just a whole bunch of like jump storage. We have jumps. There's three now. I made another one. We have some trotting poles, some small barrels, or bigger barrels, and then just giant cones. And then there's just like a little fence here to block it off. So yeah guys, that was my barn tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I'm super sorry for the lack of videos. Um, I'm going to try to work on that. And I'm going to try to get another episode of Sundown out pretty soon. White Horse Stables, it might take me a while to get the second episode of that out. Just because I used my iPad and my iPad is currently like out of memory. So... Yeah, guys, and Halloween special will be coming out hopefully very soon. See you guys. I will see you guys. Well, I, 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 I guess I'll see you guys later. I, I don't know when I'm going to make another video, but hopefully soon. So, yeah, guys. Bye.